radio. I am a radio junkie. I'm not talking the standard AM FM. Amateur radio. You know, crystal receivers, weak signal microwave transmissions, geomagnetic SETI drops, oh and the ultimate, ham radio. EM signals travel far, real far. You can go halfway around the world. I've made a lot of friends, some even face to face. But mostly, it's just over the airwaves. It's safer that way. Dogwalker 912 calling Moonbeam 734. Dogwalker 912 reaching out to anybody in the Michigan Posse. Dogwalker, this is 7 Adam 12 of Radio Adam 12. Have in touch. That was four days ago. I had to figure out what caused the interference, and it wasn't just some solar flare. It was intentional. I was sure of it. The next time it came, I was ready. It was an analog recording, scrambled and encrypted. But it was too easy for someone like me. I began decoding it the next day. And I discovered something else. The signal had a tight focus, and it was coming from somewhere close. I had to track down the source. Someone might call it a search for a needle in a haystack, but with the intensity and direction of the signal, it's, it's more like a tri-band equalizer resonating out of sync with the Y-band. <laughs> Finding the source was just a matter of time. Hey, buddy, what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I sell your dish in the backyard. So just who told you you can go snooping through my backyard? Well, uh, that, that thing's got to get a huge EME array. What kind of uh, ohms do you guys get on that baby? It puts about 1,220 gigahertz out, but we usually run at about 800. I bet you could reach all the way to Columbia with that thing. Hal, you better step back before I toss you. I'm a radio man. I've been picking up all these weird transmissions, and I think they're coming from your dish. Are you guys cleared with the FCC? No, that's it. I've warned you once already. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What kind of transmissions? Business stuff, mostly. I don't know what kind of business runs on a shortwave, but shipments, payments, uh, kilograms, drop-off points, I don't get it. Be glad you're still alive. Who are you? I think they're gonna kill us. I only wanted to find the source of that transmission. Wait, Dogwalker 912? Do you know me? I recognize your voice. And recognize that voice anywhere. Really? Wait, Moonbeam 734? We finally meet. The pleasure is all mine. You know, I love the way you do your call letters. The MB734. Your voice is so angelic. And your Morse code, it's so slow and confident and smooth. I remember when you did station identification in November, I stayed up all night listening to your voice. I've dreamed of meeting you. No one has ever understood me the way you have, Dog Walker. And here's your smelly mutt! Good job, Eddie. The Moonbeam, how did you get down here? The interference. I tracked it here to these crooks. I think they're in drugs or something. It looked like they had marijuana up there. I think we need to get out of here and call the cops. Okay, let's go. But first, ooh, take this. Just in case. Bruno, your hostages are loose. 
caught me at a bad time. Let me call you back. Yes, we uh, we have two drug dealers. We have them tied up in the basement. Tell them about the frequency disturbance. Oh, oh they have this microwave quad bander in their backyard that's been messing with everybody's signals. They said it was like 1220 megahertz. I used to think that relationships were best over the radio, safe and at a distance. However, now that I've actually met Moonbeam face to face, I realize that being on the same frequency can mean far more than being on the same radio.